let's back up a moment and take a look at where it all started with these coffee beans. Well, maybe not these actual beans, but you know what I mean. Let me tell you the whole story. It all begins in 1969 with three students who are attending college in San Francisco together. One of them starts working part-time for a gourmet coffee company. He becomes enamored with the whole process of roasting and selling great whole bean coffee. So, he convinces the owner to teach him everything he knows, which he does. Together, the three of them decide to bring this new adventure of gourmet whole bean coffee home to Seattle. Our first store opened in 1971 in Pipe Place Market in Seattle. It was called Starbucks in honor of the coffee-loving first mate in Herman Melville's Moby Dick. Does it surprise you that two of the company's founders were previous English lit majors? Now, if you're like me, you probably don't remember good old Starbucks because you never finished reading the book. And while we're at it, I should give you one more bit of historical trivia, just so you know how to answer all your friends when they ask you, what is that thing on the logo? She's called a siren, not like on an ambulance, more like a mermaid. She symbolizes our seafaring heritage, the adventure of ships bringing the choicest coffees from all over the world to our own port city roasting plant. Anyway, in 1982, a gentleman named Howard Schultz was recruited to head up Starbucks stores and marketing. In those days, the company's focus was on selling whole bean coffee by the pound. Any tasting that was done in the stores was known as sampling. Well, you can guess what happened. Hey, this is really fantastic. I want more. I want a whole cup. In fact, I want a whole cup here every morning on my way to work. Meanwhile, at a trade show in Italy, Howard is struck by the charm and romance of espresso bars on every corner. So, shortly afterwards, Starbucks opens its first store with a coffee bar in it, and the response is wonderful. I love it. Thanks. Love what they get from Starbucks. We're offering the best products. I don't know about you, but that makes me feel proud. But did you hear something else? People wanted the world's greatest coffee by the pound and the experience of enjoying it in a cup in a special atmosphere. So, in 1987, the two companies merged under Howard's leadership to form the Starbucks we know today, providing the world's finest coffee by the pound and by the cup. The original founders? Confident that Starbucks was in good hands, they went on to new entrepreneurial adventures and are still friends of Starbucks today.